TII Technical Education Systems, Teaching Technology for Tomorrow. All right, so now that we have the PLC locked in, for Unit 3.1, 3.1, we want to introduce you to how to network in and identify the Siemens touchscreen that is on the, the uh, TII trainer. So there's a couple of different ways to do this, but um, let's go ahead and uh, go back to the portal view down here at the bottom left. And this will bring us back into the portal where we can actually identify what HMI we're using. So what we want to do here is we're just going to click here. And uh, the one that is on the TII trainer is the seven inch display. And we're going to go click basic. And it is this bottom one right here. Okay, so right here, now that we're here, we just come over here, we click add. And what this is doing is it's going out onto the network just to verify that it's there. And give it a second. Again, depending how fast your computer is, this could take a couple of minutes. So once you see the HMI device wizard appear, this is where you can set up a lot of your HMI devices. But for now, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and click the finished part right here. Okay. And this will allow it to bring up the actual um, HMI page that you can begin to program on. You can actually see the page if you come over here to the root screen down here at the bottom. This is your PLC screen, where you can start programming your PLC screen. Um, this is where you select to see where your actual PLC is. Then down here at the bottom, you hit the root screen. Give it a second. Oh, it's appeared over here. Drop it in, and you're ready to rock and roll. Okay, here's your actual screen right here. Click on your PLC, that'll bring your PLC up. Click on this, it will bring up your root screen. So what we want to do is we can actually go ahead and try to download a blank program to the HMI, so we just click download to device, and this will bring you back to that page, and what we can do is start the search, and you can see here it's gone out and found the IP address for this HMI device, and once we've selected it, what we can do is we can so once you are, once you have found the device, what you can do is select it and you can click on the flash LED and that will make the HMI begin to blink. Once you've verified that the screen is blinking, you can turn that off and then just hit cancel. You know that your, you know that your HMI and ready to be programmed.